Welcome to another Mr. Mutech video. Today I'm going to show you how to change the controller settings on your iPhone or iPad device. So if you have connected a wireless controller or a wired controller, I'm going to show you where on your device you can locate that and then change around controls such as buttons and things like that. Okay, so basically what you want to do is you want to go ahead on your iOS device and open the settings. Now this is good on iPad and iPhones. Go ahead and tap on settings and then what you want to go ahead and do is scroll down until you get to general once you get to general tap on that and then you're going to go ahead and scroll down until you see game controller now i'm going to show you how to change this and save it so that it will be set as your default controller once you're done so basically what you want to go ahead and do is go to add profile go ahead and tap on add profile and then you can go ahead and switch your buttons around things like that down here. You can also change the haptic feedback here if you don't want vibration and so forth. And then basically what you need to do is you need to name this new profile. So name it whatever you want. And then after you name it, go ahead and tap on done. And once you tap on done, you're then going to see that profile right here under profiles. Now to enable that or make it your active profile, what you need to do is go ahead and tap on the controller that you have. So for example, this one is an Xbox controller. So at the top, it'll show Xbox controller where I just tap. And then what you wanna do next is tap here next to default. And then you want to go ahead again, tap on default right here. And it's going to give you the selection of the controllers that you have created. So I'm going to select the one I just made. And now it is set as my default controller moving forward. Hopefully that helps you guys out. If so, feel free to consider giving me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day.